Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, and I'm back with another Transformers review. This time we're going to talk about Transformers Prime Starscream. So I picked this guy up today um, over at Target. I, I saw him there. I thought, oh, hey, they had him and Knockout and Ratchet. And I almost picked up Knockout, but I went up, just went ahead and picked him up because I like this figure a little bit better. I am going to get a Knockout, but there's some reasons why I didn't. I'll talk about that when I actually get the knockout figure so um you know looking at the figure I, in the box the sculpt looks pretty good he's got his little weapon trying in there uh we've got our transformers prime starscream jet looking pretty cool robots in disguise he is a decepticon so we've got some nice little artwork we can look down the box here see what's going on and then we have his bio on the side if you want to read that you can hit pause and then we've got his technical data again if you want to read that you can hit pause um, over on this side we've got some nice artwork from the show and then we've got our standard pictures on the back of what the product looks like in both robot and in jet mode and that thing on the jet just looks silly how could he possibly fly with that he couldn't and then of course we've got bulkhead and i actually saw that figure too at the store and almost picked him up but passed on him i'll probably get him eventually they had a bunch of them i think he's the next optimus prime figure there's going to be a bunch bunch of those and then you get one star screen in the box or in the group so looking at him i you know so far looking at the mold i'm liking it i think it looks pretty good i like the sculpt, the head sculpt looks really nice so far, and the package. It, there are some things I've noticed that are different about the, the thing. And just looking at him, uh, his up here on his shoulders are very, very, very dark. Um, but when you look at the package on the back, they're not. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And then, of course, his the other thing that stuck out to me really big, if you look at his chest here, it's separated. And there's actually a wee itty bitty tiny Decepticon symbol under the glass, but his chest on the artwork is not separated. So I noticed that it being a huge difference. Other things I've noticed off the top were like with Optimus Prime, he's got these blue, translucent blue forearms. Well, Starscream's is purple, but it's nowhere near as bad. It's a lot darker and it, it works better on this figure, I think, than the Optimus Prime figure. So. There he is in the package. Let's take a look at this guy out of the package in robot and in vehicle mode. So, hmm, let's see what... All right, so here we have Starscream out of package. And I gotta say, he does look pretty darn cool. Very good sculpt. One of the better ones from the Prime series, I think, uh, that I've seen so far. I do like the size of him. Uh, here he is in comparison to Optimus Prime, so... He's pretty decent sized. Again, he's a skinny guy. He's kind of like um, Soundwave, where he's just very, very skinny. But um, as far as height-wise, he's about the same size as Prime, just not as bulky. So kind of interesting. And head sculpt is amazing. Some odd things about this figure I've noticed. Um, one, this piece right here on top of his head... And then this piece, the, the knee pieces, they're very, very thin, very skinny, very pointy. Uh, they're rubber. They're soft rubber, which I find interesting on the figure. Um, and I'm presuming they did that so it wouldn't break. But I'm wondering about the longevity of that rubber. Uh, is that going to corrode over time? Is this figure going to be able to last 20 years? Uh, I'm, that's just kind of interesting that they had gone that route. Now, his head has some really great articulation. He's on a ball joint. But the thing I find very strange, he actually has light piping. Where's my little light here? Kind of show, show you. There's purple light piping. Kind of hard to see in this. But right up here, there's purple light piping. But he, he has painted eyes. So his eyes are painted red. So I don't even know why they bothered with that. Why didn't they just put in a red light pipe piece instead of a purple light pipe piece? That's just kind of sad. Um, some other things that were kind of weird I noticed. Uh, in his On his chest piece right here, there's what looks like 
a little itty bitty Decepticon logo. And, you know, looking at it, it almost looks like it's in there, but I don't know if it actually is or just another piece of plastic under there. It's a perfect spot for Decepticon logo, which he should have, but it doesn't exist. Um, other interesting things. I like how his missiles can pull off of the wing here and then attach onto his arm to be very show accurate. That's kind of cool, uh, reminiscent of the old uh, G1 Starscream. It, he's very girly, though, because he's got high heels. And I know he does in the show, but, I mean, you could easily, easily turn this into a Slipstream character uh, very, very easily. Um, he does have a Decepticon logo right here, which the box art does not have that dark piece right here, uh, which makes the Decepticon logo a little difficult to see, but I do like the paint app. I think it looks looks really, really nice. Uh, he's got some great detail in his chest and just the panels everywhere. It looks really nice. Um, he stands okay, I suppose. He's got a little bit of kibble on his feet and the nose cone. It, it, you can you got some kibble on the back and it kind of shows up under his crotch there um, but that's okay that's that's forgivable now his I always want to call it a mech tech weapon uh, fits onto his arm and it's kind of hard to get on there Arr, very difficult to get on actually ah, so once it's on there it's on there and it's just so huge um, it just it I mean, you can't hold it like this, the figure will fall over. And it's really, there it is. All this is, is Optimus Prime's weapon. It's just molded a little different. Same exact thing. <laughs> and of course, he never ever had this on the show, so I will not be using it. Urgh. In fact, I like the missile piece here, I will put on there. And the missiles actually fit a little bit better than that giant gun does anyway, so um, I think it looks better with the missiles on his arm, much more Starscream-esque. I would have liked to seen Decepticon logos on the wings. Uh, that'd be a nice, maybe, retro uh, label put on there. And the other thing, and I know this is this is more to the, the show standard of him, but I would like to see a lot of red and blue in this figure instead of all the dark grays and the silvers, I think. And, and the silvers are okay, I guess. They, they would work. I would just like to have seen maybe where it's black here, make that blue, put in some red, um, some G1 colors. And maybe we'll get a repaint with some G1 colors. That'd be kind of nice. Um, or I guess you could do a custom on it, which would be very, very cool. But all in all, he looks really good in comparison to the show. Articulation is so-so. Much like Optimus Prime, if this chest piece is not down, they, it'll pop up. I mean, he's got decent shoulder articulation. His elbow only goes one way. Um, his wrist does swivel, but that's about it. And somebody's texting me. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's just so-so. And then his knees move up and down. His hip, or his, that moves, but that's because of transformation. So, um, and the feet kind of move up and down here. I mean, it's so-so. It's, it's not too bad. It's nowhere near the posability that Wheeljack or Dead End has. But it's, all in all, a pretty decent figure. I like it. I like the robot mode. Let's take a look at the jet mode. All right, so here we have Starscream in jet mode, and it's okay, I guess. I mean, it looks kind of like the show, and it's, if you look at it from this angle, it looks okay. There's problems with this mode I have, though. Um, number one, this back piece back here where his arms and legs come together to form that back fuselage does not stick well together at all, and it's a really pain to get these pieces to clamp in there. Um, other issues that I have is all that kibble from his high heels back there. I mean, that just looks really bad. And if you look underneath, 
I mean, it's the standard, I have a robot dangling underneath my jet issue. And we've got lots and lots of that. Now he does have a little landing gear here, which is kind of nice. Um, and then these pegs over here act like landing gear on his high heels. But I mean, all in all, and then there's just this nasty gap here. Just the back end of the jet doesn't look good at all. It just, he literally looks like he's sitting on top of robot parts. Um, the other thing I have issue is this front nose cone. It's rubber and it's bent upwards a little bit on mine. And I just, I, why is there a rubber nose cone? I don't get that. And then that hinge, huge hinge up there just doesn't look right. I'm not digging that at all. The wingspan is pretty neat. Um, I am digging the translucent plastic. And then his, back here, the tail has got some nice detail, and it goes together pretty well. But the problem, like, look at the, the engine in the back. It just doesn't, because it doesn't click together well, it doesn't fit together well. It's just really, really bad. Um, not digging this mode hardly at all. Um, yeah, and then the other thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is done purposely or... What? It looks like he's got a little face there. Arr, arr. You see that? Um, you also get that in the robot mode, too, in his chest, but it's really pronounced there. Um, I'm not sure if that was designed that way or if it was just it just happenstance. It's got to be designed that way. Um, kind of interesting. I really would have liked to seen Decepticon logos on the wings themselves. There is no Decepticon logo in this mode. Uh, that is visible, which kind of stinks. I don't like that much. And the missiles look way too tiny. They look very tiny on his arms in robot mode, but they look even smaller here. And that's kind of a drag. Now, his little weapon thing is supposed to go up here on top. Let's see. So there's his... I mean, that just looks dumb. I like that. It's fun to play with, but I'm not using it on the figure. It's just going to sit in a box. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely going to be in robot mode uh, being displayed. I'm just not very thrilled on this mode here. So, all in all, I mean, it's an okay figure. It's much better in robot mode. Um, different paint job would look good on this figure. It would help it out. I would like to see a Gen 1 style paint job on it. That'd be kind of cool. And actually, what else would be very cool? This would be a good um, G.I. Joe crossover figure. Uh, this could really go for a Cobra paint job in the jet mode. So, is he worth the $20? If you're a Starscream fan, yeah, I would probably pick him up and put him in there. Uh, I'm There's the was it Thundercracker or Skywarp? Skywarp figure, I think, they released in Japan. I'd like to see those figures released, too, in the different paint schemes. Um, that or just pick them up and customize them, maybe. Um, I may pick one up and do a, a Gen 1 paint job on mine. Um, I don't know. So, but, yeah, as far as a jet, kind of a fail. Uh, as far as a robot, looks very cool, looks very show accurate, um, very neat and nifty. But it's just... Uh, Kind of, kind of disappointing jet, that's for sure. So there he is, guys. Starscream Transformers Prime.